Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Pre-Match Posh and it's Portsmouth away. It's another one of those weird double headers that we've had. We had it with Wickham and Plymouth last season and now Portsmouth. Do you like having a double header or do you think it's a bit off-putting? It definitely reduces the attendances for the Tuesday game. It's also weird as well because it's almost two completely different teams playing on Saturday. Tuesday night was good, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the young lads did as proud Tuesday night. They've done us well. I didn't think it was going to win, to be honest, but yeah, they, they did well. They did well. Texting the group and saying that you were co- you were confident for Saturday and that you're willing to debate it with anyone. So that'll be interesting when we get to the prediction section. Before that, let's talk about the team news. No new injuries, Blackmore and Fuchs still out. Would you make any changes? Has anyone played themselves into the team or did anyone play themselves out of the team last week? Uh, I'll start the same team as we did against Derby. I'd probably start the same team. Maybe Nike could get into the team. Yeah, we're saying start the same team, but we could have two players gone and three players signed perhaps by... True. By Saturday, I would be tempted to go to a back three if I was Fergie. I think the back three could could work. Firstly, Critchlow, when we signed, everyone said he's unbelievable in a back three, but in a back four, they're worried for him. The opponents, Portsmouth, they're, they're, they're tough customers, aren't they? They're the only team left in League One still not to lose a game, but they're having a couple of problems. They're two nil nils in a row against Cheltenham and against Stevenage, which which is a bit worrying. Obviously, they lost on penalties against us on Tuesday night in the Cup. Considering that we were down to 10 men for half an hour, that's a bit worrying. And let's be real here, they did sub on a lot of the big guns at sort of 60 minutes-ish. They brought on the the likes of Colby Bishop and Kamara, who are players that we'll probably see involved on Saturday. So Yeah, I mean, they've got a very good defence with a great keeper in goal. (laughs) Obviously, being a bit sarcastic there. I mean, he's, he's done well for them, to be fair, so far. Will Norris, but has he really seen a proper test? I know we said that on paper we have probably the toughest start to the season in League One. I think if we had a window like they had, we were had the expectations that they had, and we only came out of five games like that with nine points. I think as posh fans, we'd be a bit disappointed, no? Yeah, very, very easy start for Portsmouth, I'd say, especially compared to posh. We've had quite a tough start. If we had those sort of games, I think we would have picked up at least 12. I remember arguing with Tobber on Twitter, I think it was, when I put out my predictions. And I actually predicted Pompey to win League One back in, I think, early July. You're, you're still bonkers for that. I, I don't know. I mean, first of all, I think John Messina is a very good manager. I know it's sort of his first big job, but he seems to have adapted well, seems to have built a style of football that he... He sticks by, and I think the most important thing for a manager is to have a philosophy. I worry for for the boy who's at, at Fratton Park because that's a scary place to go. I, a lot of people I've actually seen, you know, pundits say that when you play away at Portsmouth, you don't just play the team, but you play the stadium as well. It's a very small ground. It's all on top of you. It's a great atmosphere when it gets going. And this young team will have to have a lot of guts to deal with that in, in the tough stages of the game that will inevitably come. Yeah, and against uh, big crowds, Posh haven't been seen to have the best record against teams with big crowds, especially in the Championship, away from home. We barely won any games away, did we? Yeah, we were awful away from home. They signed our, our good old mate Will Norris, who is supposedly kicked on really well. And I saw someone compare him to Edison the other day, which I thought was... Quite funny. Portsmouth fans love Norris. I think he's class. Okay, I wasn't as anti Norris as a lot of people were. I actually thought it was good for us. Generally, he he was all right, and I would have happily seen him given a new deal. I didn't think he was too bad, but I think the Wednesday game definitely sealed it because for me, he just didn't look like he cared. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but every single goal that went in, he just didn't look like he was bothered. I think from day one when he showed up, they would have turned on him easily because he had the Cambridge links. Loved Cambridge. He had forever a U in his Twitter bio when he signed for us. And also because he's not a young player, he's experienced. So every mistake feels like one that he shouldn't be making at his age. He, he, didn't, he did make a few good saves for a while like this, but just that, that Wednesday game just sealed it off. Like Caden yeah. said, he didn't look bothered. It doesn't seem, sound like we're massively optimistic going into to it, but we'll ask for the predictions anyway. The predictions league carries on. I can reveal that we all have zero points. We are all rubbish because we all right. predicted Posh to beat Derby last Saturday and we all got it absolutely wrong. Burroughs didn't do his celebration by the corner flag. Caden 
as usual, you're going to start us off with your prediction. It's going to be, in my opinion, the toughest game yet, even though we just played Derby on Saturday. We're away, we're at Pompey, we're at Fratton Park. I don't think we have the best record there. I mean, we've had some decent days there. I remember the night where we needed to win to keep playoff hopes alive. And I remember Ivan Tony scoring. I'll go with a boring nil-nil because Portsmouth have had two the last two I just feel like we're doing a nil-nil what we're going to do is because you've not you can't predict the scorer which player is going to which posh player is going to receive the first yellow card um, we'll go Kipriani Tob we're winning Saturday I think I, I think we win Saturday and to deal with the crowd I think we get a goal early you know two nil Peterborough but we'll, we'll get a goal around the 18th minute settle the nerves a bit then 75th minute we'll seal the job right? we'll do it two nil and who's scoring the first post goal I'm going to go for um, Mason Clark I reckon he's due a goal and what celebration is Efron Mason Clark doing after he scores he is going to knee slide in front of John Moussinia in front of I would absolutely love to see it my prediction is less optimistic Optimistic. I think we will go 1-0 up. I agree with you. And I think it will be Archie Collins who gets his first posh goal. But I think second half, Portsmouth will be attacking towards their really noisy end with the bell and the trumpet and the ooh. And we're going to get caught out. They'll equalise around 70 and they'll win at 80 plus, I think. I think we're going to miss some chances on Saturday. I can tell you that. I think we're going to shoot ourselves in the foot a bit. I know I'm being really pessimistic. Need to, but you this, need is to just, have faith. Uh, this is just what I've envisioned. Just faith in the boys. I have faith in the boys. I have faith in the process. I absolutely love what we're doing. But Saturday's not going to be our day, I don't think. Archie Collins is going to score the first goal. He's going to do... He's going to jump and do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's it. That's the go-to. I haven't seen what kind of celebration he's going to do, but I think he's going to do that. And then afterwards, he's going to do the little golf one with Kiprianu and Randall. Yeah, You're very that, creative with these. He is, that's, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Clip it up, put it anywhere. I'm getting this one right. Archie Collins to score first. I Poch hope you don't. Two one. You know what? I don't think a two one loss away would be the worst thing at Fratton Park. Obviously, we want to win. It wouldn't be but... the best, though, would it? it would no, it definitely wouldn't be the best, but... let like three and a half hours away. I don't want to go three and a half hours to lose. Well, I'm not going, so that's a lot easier for me. I'll be sat in the warmth of, um, of a hotel in Nottingham laughing at you guys on your way back. Fake fan. Last day. I'm excited to see how we do. You know, this is, as Caden said, I think our toughest test. What do you reckon? I don't think it is, to be honest. I, I, if, if, we get, if we get an early goal, I think we'll be all right. The first goal is very important Saturday. Someone will get a point in the league this weekend because we've gone for a draw, a win and a loss. Someone by next week when we're sat here will be top of the league. Will Posh be top of the league by the end of this weekend? Very no. much doubt it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Pre-Match Posh. Leave your score predictions down in the comments below and come join us on our live shows this Friday for deadline day as well. Subscribe if you're not already. Up the Posh.